Father never came. <laughs> you stayed home and made the finger food. Right. And the godmother showed up at the house early. In some instances, actually dressed the baby. Mom had nothing to do with it. Uh, the godmother brought the baby to church, carried it through the whole ceremony, and then brought it home. And then you got to see your baptized baby, right? You also remember churching? I was just going to say that because right. we were at church. Okay. Yeah. No, no, that uh, I didn't know what that meant. I'm not that at all. And I was I, already in the order. I'm the Christian I receiver. Down in and Christian a woman witness. And she says, I would like to be churched. <laughs> okay. And I looked at her <laughs> and I said, now, do you mean you would like to join Sacred Heart Parish or you want to become a Roman Catholic? And she says, young man, I've just had a baby. And I said, congratulations. <laughs> now, do the two of you want to join the parish or do you want to become wrong? So you were in a parish oh, I wasn't a priest yet. I was in college. But now, the last part of this ceremony is the church and ceremony. There's a blessing for the mother, a blessing for the father, and a blessing for the baby. That's the old church and ceremony. Yeah, pretty soon. And the grace of Christ. Baptism, faith, and the grace of Christ. You have now asked to have these children baptized. In doing so, you are accepting the responsibility of training them in the practice of the Catholic faith. It will be your duty to bring them up to keep God's commandments as Christ taught us. By loving God and our neighbor. Do the parents clearly understand these additional responsibilities to which the baptisms will give rise? We do. And Megan and Andrew, and Valerie and Charles, are you ready to help these parents in their duties as Christian parents? We are. We are. We are. We are. Okay. Daniel Owen and Courtney Adele. This Christian community of St. Joseph's and New Paul's welcomes you with great joy. In its name, I now claim you for Christ our Savior by the sign of his cross. And I trace that cross on your forehead. Now, here is little Daniel Paul. See Daniel Owen? He's standing right there. <coughs> Godmother, Megan, over you come. Take a little hat off. Now, if you've been to the ordination of a priest, you know that the bishop extends hands over the head of the candidate. He then stands back, and every priest in the cathedral comes up and extends hands over that new priest, expressing a willingness to share priesthood with that new man. Now, as we move forward, each one of us will make a little cross on each of the baby's forehead. And that symbolizes our willingness to share our Christian faith with these children. This could become the longest part of this entire ceremony. So while you admire the babies, keep moving <laughs> and just make a little cross on their foreheads as you move forward. You want to start? And Mike. Over here for snow evil. The rest of the place is ours. Moms have brought appropriate wear to keep babies content, right? <laughs> okay, now. Yeah. Yeah. 
approaches, you can prepare yourself for a few matches. Somebody's at the door. Ah. And we'll go see who's at the door. A special time of year. And Dunkin' Donuts is dressing up their donuts for the occasion. And here's the rule. So come to Dunkin' Donuts. You're watching for this. Yeah, come on in. I just need to read it for um, Charles. Yeah, come on in. Oh, talk to me. Talk to me. This is my husband. Like, oh, I, I, I forgot you first. Yeah, and you. I recognize his face. I'm trying to get him to talk. I have never got him on tape, but he's cooing. Brother Andrew. Chicken. Daniel. Can you talk to Dada? What are you doing? 